Hi everyone. In today's video, I will walk through the very important use case, uh, identifying the PIA information using the Copilot Studio and AI Builder. Right. So, so let me first talk about what we are building here today. So we will build a, uh, the chatbot using the Copilot Studio, and essentially in this chatbot, we will uh, integrate the uh, the PIA detection system. So essentially, we will build a prompt using the AI builder, right? And we will embed that prompt in the Copilot Studio chatbot to identify or detect the, the PII information, right? So let me go ahead and, and let me show you how we can build the, the prompt, right? So to build a prompt, we have to you go to this uh, uh, maker portal, right? And essentially here, we have to go to uh, the AI hub, let me just go to AI hub here and let's click here and this is the AI hub right and this provide a lot of different capabilities but in this demo we will just focus on the prompt side and as you can see here so there are different uh, out of box uh, uh, template uh, prompt template here right for summarization extracting information right and and we we want to build a custom uh, prompt here right so basically we want to um, scan the the user input and identify the the PII information so we want to build a, a custom prompt right and I have already built this custom prompt right so to build any uh, prompt we have to do few things right so we have to define the name of the prompt we have to define the the prompt here right and then we have to define the input right we can define one or more input here right and in this case actually since i just want to uh, pass that uh, the user query and then identify the pii information so that's what i'm uh, having only one input here and then uh, we can add the data source right in this case we can use this uh, uh, there are uh, data words we can add here right uh, and then as a output we can return text and json so i will just use the default one text right and in the settings, uh, we can select uh, the module, right? We can use the GPTO or 3. Point, GPT 3.5. I will continue with the GPTO. And then we can also define the temperature, right? So these are the different settings we can uh, we can do for the prompt, right? And as you can see, I have defined the prompt for identifying the, the PII information, right? So in this prompt, what I'm telling to the mo uh, model is identify the person. person personal identifiable information and then uh, i am passing this query here and then i am telling model to return uh, if the, it identify uh, value to true right if it doesn't found it then return the false right and then uh, i am also providing some example like what are the uh, pi information like social security number email address its address all these information right and one more thing we can do here is actually we can test this prompt right so as you can see i have provided uh, some sample data which has a uh, email id and then we can click on the test prompt and we can test it right so let's go ahead and click here and since this has a email right and which is the pa information that's why it returned the true right so 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 far now we have built uh, the prompt right so now next step is We'll integrate this prompt into the Copilot Studio, right? So let me go ahead and close this window here and let me navigate to the Copilot Studio. And I have built the chatbot, right? And uh, in this chatbot, we will uh, embed the, the prompt uh, to identify the, uh, the PII information, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm using the existing system topic and I made uh, some changes. So I'm using this conversational boosting topic, right? So essentially what I have done here is I have uh, integrated uh, uh, a major knowledge base, right? So whenever I'm asking uh, any question, right? Uh, then actually, uh, since I have not created any topic, it will come to this uh, unknown intent topic, right? Like this conversation boosting topic. And then from there, actually, it will go to uh, Amazon.com to find the answer for my query right but 
I do that actually. I have added uh, some logic here where it will check about the uh, the EIA information, right? So I have added this prompt here, and let me show you how you can add this prompt here, right? So click on this uh, note thing, and then uh, click on all actions, right? So once we click here, actually under the basic action, it will show the all the prompts which I have developed, right? And I have developed this uh, uh, find PII information uh, prompt, right? So let's close this. And and in the prompt, right, we have uh, one input, so we are passing that input here. And in the input, actually, I'm passing the the user query, right? So and that we can get through this uh, uh, system dot activity dot text property, right? And then as a output, it is returning me a, a record. And that record actually, uh, I am saving in this variable prompt response. Okay. And then what I'm doing here is I actually I'm checking what is the response from the this prompt, right? So if you see here, uh, so basically uh, this written lot of information, right? So in the prompt, if I go, so if you see here, it has a prompt finish region text, right? So, but we, here we are interested only the text. And then what I can do here is I can convert this to the formula and then I can just do the comparison, right? So I'm just interested if the prompt uh, respond is, response is uh, false, then actually it did not find the, uh, the PII information and then we will uh, proceed further, right? So if it doesn't find the PII information, what I'm doing here is I'm calling this uh, generative answer and this generative answer actually it is using the the amazon knowledge knowledge data source right and uh, then it will go here and it will uh, answer my query right otherwise what it will do is it will come to this part here if it find the sensitivity information right and then it will show this custom message right so let's go ahead and test this right so let me go here and let me click on the test console and let me uh, enter to be here so i will say my email id is s at the rate gmail.com and suggest uh, suggest best laptop best dell laptop okay so let's see what it will return Okay, so as expected, it uh, made a call to this uh, prompt engine, right? And then it identified the this email as a uh, uh, sensitive information, and then it returned this custom info uh, message, right? The sensitive information detected, right? So now I will simplify this query, and I will not pass the sensitive sensitive information here, right? So let me just go and uh, ask question like suggest best dell laptop right so in this case it will go to prompt uh, then prompt will return true and then it return true and then it made a call to uh, the next uh, node generative answer right which essentially make uh, made a call to the amazon right and it written this uh, summarize answer here right and this also has a citation right which will tell you like from where it got this information right so, so uh, essentially, uh, in this video, we have uh, built a prompt using the AI builder, and then we have integrated uh, uh, this uh, uh, prompt into the uh, Popeye Studio, and then we have tested this uh, 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 prompt with the real examples. Right? Hope this video will help you. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching this video.